Thanks for, uh, thanks for introduction. Uh, my talk is about uh, some new insight on the AES like uh, SBN drivers. So first I'll give some introduction and then give some preliminaries and then I'll give some zero correlation linear crypt analysis of the AES like SBN drivers. And uh, then I'll give some applications of the application to hash function and to the AES. <coughs> And finally, I give a conclusion. Um, block ciphers are among the most important primitives in constructing uh, cryptographic schemes, such as uh, authentication schemes and hash functions. And uh, among the most famous uh, block ciphers, the advanced encryption standard is currently the uh, most interesting candidate to build different uh, schemes. Uh, such as these cipher, these schemes in the ongoing CISA competitions, uh, some of them uh, use the uh, AES run function directly, and the others maybe use some uh, AES, uh, AES like SPN ciphers. Although the security of these schemes does not completely uh, depend on the underlying primitives, uh, we believe that. The security of the round reduced AES uh, could give some new insight to both the design and group analysis of the authentication encryption algorithms. Uh, basically, there are two settings in group analysis, one of which is the uh, distinguished attack and the other is the key recovery attack. And for distinguished attacks, uh, the distinguishing properties refers to those uh, properties of a cipher that a random permutation do not have. And for key, re key recovery tag, the aim of this tag is to recover some round keys of a cipher. Uh, usually, uh, the attack is applied once some distinguishers, distinguishing property of, of reduced round block cipher has been found. For example, in differential cryptanalysis, we first find some uh, different characteristics with high probability, but for a random permutation, a random permutation, this, uh, this character, characteristics may not exist. And let's see some uh, details of the SPIN uh, like ciphers, uh, AES like SPIN ciphers. Uh, in the design of these ciphers one usually uh, uses the um, MDS matrix whose <coughs> elements uh, are restricted to low Hamming weight in order to reduce the workload of the multiplication over finite field. And not only the MDS matrix are always circulant, but also there are identical elements in each row. For example, in the uh, in AES, the first row of the MDS, MDS matrix is 2, 3, 1, 1. And I'll give a little summary of the knowing distinguished for the AES. Uh, although there exist some five round distinguished for, a, for AES 192 and AES 256, the knowing distinguisher for all version of the AES only covers at most four round. Uh, for example, the impossible differential of AES only covers four round and also the in integral distinguisher. Uh, these distinguishers hold not only in the chosen plaintext mode, but also in the chosen server uh, setting. And th this is uh, basically because uh, the, most of the distinguishers are based on the fact that the mixed column is an uh, MDS matrix. So since the inverse of a MDS matrix is also uh, an MDS matrix, so this, prop this property holds on both directions. Uh, so this is the definition of Hamming weight uh, and the correlation of uh, Boolean function and the vectorial function. So we denote by we will use this notation to denote a circulant matrix. And for the AES-like ciphers, we always have 
we also know the run function is composed of four parts. The first part is add run case and then subbyte. Uh, if the, uh, the confusion, uh, diffusion layer is made, is made up of shift rules and the mixed columns, then we say the SPN server is an AES like a cipher. For the AES, the shift rule equals to zero, one, two, three. This means the first rule is uh, we keep the first row and the, the second row, the left rotated by one byte. And the mixed column is uh, a circular matrix. And the encrypt to 2006, uh, 2016, uh, we have proved that the longest uh, impossible differential of, uh, of the AES uh, is for if we do not exploit the detail of the S box. So if we want to uh, construct longer impossible differential or zero correlations, we should uh, exploit the detail of the S-box. And also, we should exploit the detail of the MTS matrix. So this here will give an example of the knowing for example, for run the impossible or zero correlation linear half of the AES. Since in uh, the M3, the input to M3 has four, has three non-zero element and the output has one, only one. So the sum of this is four, which is contradict with the fact that the, M, the, the branch number of the MDS matrix is five. So if the input, uh, so if the input mask is, is like this and the output is only one, so this, uh, the correlation of this must should be zero. Uh, to enhance the performance of a cipher, designers usually use uh, identical S box. Uh, for example, in AES, the six, the sixteen S boxes in one are uh, the same, and a diffusion layer whose elements often have relatively low Hamming weight, which not necessarily but often cause some weakness, as shown in the following. Uh, first, we will recall a fact that uh, if the uh, input uh, mask to a linear function and is A and uh, the output mask of a linear function is B, then if the correlation is not zero, then A, uh, a and B should satisfy that B equals to uh, the transpose of L minus one uh, times A. And the, the first, uh, in the following, we will always ignore the first shift rule since it can be omitted in the group analysis. And we assume that the AES like SPN cipher satisfies the following conditions. The first one is there always exist two elements such that uh, there are two identical elements in the, in the transpose of the inverse of the, um, uh, the mixed column matrix. And without loss of generality, the S boxes in the two positions are the same. Then the group analysis or in the following will hold. Uh, let's see here. So not only the input mask of the two S boxes are the same, but also the values of the two S boxes are identical. So, So if the input mask to these two positions are the same and uh, the output mask should be, the Hamming weight of the output mask should be three or four. Uh, and in most cases, it, sh it, always, it is always four. So to make it be three, uh, so here, if the input mask is A, A, zero, zero, and we already have these two elements at D. So this element should be zero. To make this hold, we, we need, we need the, the condition that the input mask are the same and also the value to the two S box are the same. So in this case, uh, the two, uh, the, the uh, input mask of this form 
the output of the, then the output uh, mask should be of this form. And then, like, as we aware, uh, as uh, I had already explained before, and this, this is a four round zero correlation linear half. So, in this case, if the input is of this form, then an output, or the only one active aspect in the output, then this correlation should be zero. And uh, since we have established some relationship between uh, a zero correlation linear how and the integral distinction, integral distinguisher, we can uh, ex uh, turn the, the zero correlation linear how to an uh, integral one. Uh, let for uh, AES like a spin cipher, if the let delta equals to the difference of two sub, sub byte of the uh, let delta equal to the two byte of sub keys, and we denote a set like this, then the output of five round. Uh, AES like S spin cyphers uh, will have the following property. The sum of each byte equals zero. But for uh, a random permutation, it happens with uh, it can it is not always whole. So this can can distinguish a five round AES like cipher from a, a random permutation. So let If the if the if two byte of the plan text if two byte of the plan text equals to uh, uh, to to delta, and uh, then uh, we denote by t delta f like this. Uh, this is uh, the sum is. Uh, let me see. So the sum is. Uh, in this set, so there, are, since we already know if uh, if delta equals to the two subbyte of the keys, then the sum is zero, and the delta can only be uh, one, two, three, and zero to two to the power n minus one. So there always exists a delta such that the sum is zero, and for random permutations, the property is too low. So this. We can say that this can distinguish a, a block cipher from random permutation, and uh, we can also give a direct proof of this theorem, and we refer, for, refer to our paper for the details. So next, we will give some applications to the hash schemes. Since in block cipher we cannot know the value of the k, but in uh, a hash scheme we can. In some times we can know that that the if if the if the chain chain value act as the key, then we can know the difference of the two bytes. So in in the in if uh, we we consider a hash scheme, we cannot to guess the value of the two di the difference of the two sub keys. So in the hash scheme, in the hash scheme, the this the value is we can always know this value. So if the the plan text the difference of the two byte of the plan text equals to this value, then uh, we can determine that the sum of the output can always be zero. And since the Whirlpool hash function is a special constant of uh, MP hashing scheme, so this, this result can be generalized to a uh, MP uh, hash, hash mode. And in this case, uh, the subset V does not necessarily form a subspace. This is different with uh, our, uh, integral attack. Uh, basically, in uh, integral attack, the 
the subset V is always a subspace of F2 to N. And for the, let's say, the application to the AES, and since the, the inverse, the transpose of the inverse of AES is like this E9 dB, and they are, we cannot find a two element, uh, sub, uh, we, cannot, we cannot find a two equal element, so it seems that we cannot uh, construct such distinguers for the five run AES, but if we uh, we consider the the decryption of the AES, then since the matrix two three one one, we can find the two elements that are equal. So we can construct the distinguers for the uh, inverse of AES. So uh, like this, if the this is the ciphertext. If the two byte of the ciphertext is equal to the corresponding uh, subkeys, the the sum of the plain text is always zero, just like this. But for random permutation, it happens with the prob probability two two minus one hundred and twenty. So this this property can be used to. Uh, for instance, when the code book is provided to determine whether it is AES, when both the block cipher and the keys are unknown. Since the AES adopts a circulant MDS matrix, we can get many other different uh, variants of this property by dividing the whole set into uh, different subsets. So let's see the conclusion. Uh, distinguishers of the AES like SPN structures are covered extensively in this paper. And with all these results are based on the two observations. So, uh, the first one is there are two identical elements in the row of the transpose of the inverse of the matrix. And the second one is they are the S box are identical. And they in uh, hash mode, the, where the chain value serves as the secret key in the block cipher, we can further remove the constraints on the matrix and the S boxes. And we apply the new result to the Whirlpool hash function and the construct five run integral like distinguishers. And also, we cannot build a distinguisher in the chosen plain text mode, we can construct a five run. The uh, integral distribution for the AES. In the chosen ciphertext mode, uh, which is the best dis distinguisher for the AES with respect to the number of run it covers. So our result shows that uh, despite the key schedule, uh, the separate margin of the run reduced AES on the chosen plain text attack may be different from that on the chosen ciphertext attack and we, we also try to apply a key, re key recovery attack using the new distinguisher. And if we can ignore the, ignore the complexity of the, uh, doing the partial sum, then we can attack seven run. But uh, in this case, the complexity of the of doing the partial sum is too high, uh, and someone may think that it cannot be ignored. So someone may regard it as a correct, or someone may be think it's wrong. So we can we did not add this route to the paper. So th that's all. Thank you. <laughs>